So I woke up and I had a migraine this morning. And when I have migraines, I tend to get agitated a lot easier and tend to get a lot more aggressive. And um, I decided that I wanted to complicate my life this morning and see what I could do to piss myself off. And uh, recently, this girl got onto this Lyft driver about, you know, bullshit about a hula dancer. Uh, the, the hula dancer bobbles that they used to have in, like, all the fucking movies. And people out in, like, California have all over their fucking cars. Like, like dice off of the, um, the rearview mirror. You know, and she got onto him about it. And it's just fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And, uh, and I decided, why not do a reaction to some feminazis? Now, you know what I'm talking about. There's feminists, and then there are feminazis. Feminists believe in equality. They believe in equal pay for women. They believe in equal treatment for both men and women. And they're, 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 they're working towards an upstanding good. Feminazis are the ones who hate and hate and hate on men. And I, there's a multitude of reasons why, but almost none of them are good. So, what I thought in my pain adult state, in my pain adult state right now, why not do a reaction to a feminist cringe compilation? So this is either gonna, this is either gonna backfire in a huge way or uh, this is gonna be hilarious. So here we go. The destruction of this scale is dedicated to all of the women whose lives have been ruined and ruled by it. This is for us, ladies. Is it? Where is it? Safety for you? first. I'm tired of you stealing my life. I'm tired of you making me feel if I'm good or bad. I'm tired of you deciding how my day is. No more of you deciding my life. No more of you stealing life from me. This is it. I take back my life. I'm in control. I decide if I'm good or bad. Not you. I deserve a great life. This is about me. This isn't about you. You know, when you get mad for eating cake and then you go away yourself, you're bound to feel this way. And don't! Don't! Don't make me be that person! What person? Don't! Oh my god. Don't! Is she on a train? Please don't! I'm asking for something that's very simple for me! Don't what? Act! This is my bubble! Mine! Right here, bubble? right now! Please back up! Your bubble? Kick her fucking ass off the train! I'd have gone back up to the front and was like, hey, stop the train. Like, we're in mid-transit over a bridge. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> ...suggesting Audrey Lord to the book club that your wife attends. Who's oh, Audrey and Lord? Yes, I am the one who convinced her to get that shorter haircut that you pretend to like, but don't really like. Crazy and eyes. The feminist who is pushing your daughter down the slippery slope of sluthood by giving her a high five when she says she keeps her own supply of condoms. And incidentally, I've tried to turn her bisexual gay. By bisexual gay. I like that. That's funny. Yes. I am that hysterical. Hysterical feminist who demands trigger warnings on scenes of rape and this is a okay. list of the things that we're working towards. Now, if you would shut the fuck up for the fiftieth million times, these are things that we're agreeing on, and these are things that you've actually all got skewed fucking views on. You think that feminists are trying to take away your fucking rights, but it, as a matter of fact, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to work on the same things that you're working on, but except the fact that you're so too busy, you're just I don't I don't understand why like, 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 like,
great website against feminists. You're not creating any change. You're not working to what you're doing. just talk about how much pay it has for no reason. There's too much going on. I can't really tell what the hell's going on. you to have to make alimony payments. In The Walking Dead, it is clear that women are badass, right? Right. They're brave. I don't watch The Walking Dead, but I agree with that. Women are badass, so they can survive a zombie apocalypse. Complete, absolute dedication to shaving their armpits. Somehow, in post-apocalyptic America, these women find razors and shaving cream while scavenging for food and bludgeoning zombies. These women don't just survive. They survive with no underarm stubble. So, shave my legs. Shave my armpit, shave my vagina. I'll be smoother than a newborn rat. I'll have so hair so she's aware that The Walking Dead is a TV show, it, right? I'll bleach it. If I can't bleach it, I'll wax it. If I can't wax it, I will pay thousands of dollars to have a tiny laser beam kill all of my hair follicles, so I'll never grow body hair again. So what the hell? How to be a gamer girl in four easy steps. One, choose a gender neutral or masculine username for your online identity. The hordes of cisgender, heterosexual, and mostly white men you'll be gaming with are incredibly sensitive to the possibility of a female within their midst and are more likely to consider you part of the scenery than a peer on the battlefield. If you started gaming when you were young, naive, and starry-eyed, and have the misfortune of an unchangeable feminine username like Jigglypuff Sparkle Fairy, Prepare your so ahead of clearly time. she At has no idea. Gender, How dare you wear a Steven Universe shirt for starters? Jargon, Secondly, with man. she and doesn't know. No of, clearly she doesn't know of here. LD Shadow Lady, Manga Minx, right? uh, Chrism Pro. Um, of my apartment else? development, right? And they refused of? to give me the form. I'll talk about that in a minute. This guy walked into the office when I was there, and now here he is parked out here. Chrism Pro, Manga Minx, Melanie Mac. Here we go. What's this about? Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. <laughs> He's so yeah. confused. What? Don't ever stalk me again. Stalk? He's a postal you worker. You. <laughs> Stop some more. Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Is that right? That's right. You want to give your name? I do not need to. You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's a no federal you worker. You are so harassing you a federal worker. Are you, you fucking I'm... crazy? Oh, this this is actually not a feminist thing. This is uh, this doesn't need to be here. This is actually like a, a skit or a prank or something that I, that someone's pulling on this bookstore. She's playing a character from a Stephen King book called Misery. I forget the name of the character, but... Misery. Have you ever read the Misery novels? They're very good. I'm not familiar with Misery. If, if, he, if he had read Stephen King's Misery, he would know that this is a fucking work. How can you not know? If he had even seen the movie Misery. Writes the Misery novels. They're very good. I'm looking for the latest one. Please do the whole thing. Please have the whole thing on here. I need that to complete my collection. And I really think you need to have that here. I don't, Misery. I don't oh, no. They, they didn't play the whole thing. It's actually pretty funny. What the fuck? Are you done? Uh, nope. Nope. Are they... Is this an attempt at singing, or are they signaling the mothership? I don't... What? I'm so confused. Culture that supports rapists. You, like, of course we live in a rape culture. Like, of course we do. This is a rape culture. What we live in today is a rape culture. And See, that, that I, I sort of agree with. What does the media and our politicians do to help rapists? That, I'm not More so sure about. Sentences? Um, I think when it comes to the idea of rape culture, that all the time. Uh, it's really a matter of like that. whether or not the you guy know, who not, is I, the I'm rapist can have like the, Lauren, the judge in his pocket. Know, and I know from experience from watching you that you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't, it only supports the upper like ten percent of people. Uh, the, the rape I culture don't have thing. Any specific. Am that ice queen cunt who 
Oh, <laughs> she, she used the C word. That's a no-no. I didn't need your comment. I am out to infringe upon your rights and freedoms and extra room on the subway bestowed upon you for having a penis. What? Okay, well, when you do that, we're never gonna have a civil discussion. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't want to have a civil discussion. I only call you assholes. By believing these ideas, so, you're inherently disrespectful of oh, people so, of color, so you don't, of women, oh, really? of gay people, oh, really? of people with depression. How, is, how, how, are we, how are we inherently disrespectful to them? Because your wow. hurt us. And you're white assholes. White oh rules, my gosh, I'm so sorry that I'm white and that automatically means I'm so white. So white guys not allowed to have any opinions. Um, That's well, you have shitty opinions. Like, what? How? You're allowed to be as rude as you want, but yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, and you're I mean, allowed to be as privileged and much of a big bag as you want. <laughs> Two, become an expert in everything. Complete every side quest. Earn every achievement. Be prepared for any reference or joke because if you're not, fake gamer girl alert! Suddenly, that low-cut shirt you're wearing was not a choice you made because you felt good about your bomb-ass cleavage when you woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> What oh my one? god, I believe in equal rights! Oh my god, I believe that! I don't believe in equal rights. Homophobia shouldn't be allowed! Drama oh alert. God, I believe that white men shouldn't dictate a fucking woman's place in the world! You fucking douchebag! You misogynistic big pieces of shit! Trigger. <laughs> See, like. It seems like performance art right there. That doesn't seem like reality right there. Hi, Betty. This is Rachel. So I feel there. like I've been really triggered lately, and I just wanted to kind of vent and get it out of my system, and hoping that if I talk about it and say it out loud, instead of just writing it down in my journal, something will come of it, and it might help some of you guys. I know it did hopefully help me. It's really hard being triggered all the time, and I'm not kidding. It's all the time for me at this point. I get dressed in the morning, I'm triggered. I take a shower. I'm triggered. I get in the car. I'm triggered. I go for a walk. I'm triggered. I leave what? I'm Are you triggered. fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I look at my things, beautiful sisters, and I'm triggered, and I just can't. I can't. I can't take people like that seriously. I just can't. I can't. I can't take them seriously. We're triggered all the time, lady. Are you fucking for real? That's not being triggered. That's called being self-conscious. Do something about it. I'm triggered all the time. I can't... I can't help it. You could help it. You could really help it. It's just like the woman at the beginning of the, of the video with the fucking scale and she was like beating it. As if it's that scale's fault for telling the truth. Okay. No, the scale doesn't dictate your life. You dictate your life. You need to take responsibility. Put the fucking fort down and start doing something about it. You're so upset about how you look and you're so upset about the scale. Do something about it. Don't fucking take it out on a piece of machinery. You spent real money on that thing and you're fucking destroying it? Fuck that. And this bitch right here. I bet, I bet they weren't doing anything. I bet the, the little, where are they, like a shopping center or a mall or something? I bet they were just at the food court. And she walked up on a bunch of guys that are like probably assholes at school. Yeah, probably jerks. But just walked up on them and decided to talk like white male privilege bullshit just to make a scene. Hold on, what else was there? Let's go back a little bit. I don't know what this woman's thing is. I think she's just making a parody statement on feminazis. All right, this one right here. She is talking shit without shit to back up. Yeah, rape culture is a natural thing, and I do believe that, especially with the recent case of Brock Turner being released from jail way before his time. Like that. I'm just going to say right now, on behalf of all males... He does not represent us, okay? He's a, 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 I don't even consider that a man. I consider that a thing. That's not a man. A man does not do that to a woman or another guy or whatever. That's just not cool at all, at all. So as far as like Brock Turner is concerned, we've, we've pretty much abandoned him. The only people who go with him now 
or, uh, you know, his asshole dad who probably, you know, paid off the judge to get a lenient sentence because, yeah, rape culture exists for the upper 10% of, uh, you know, the, the, the society. Sorry. All right, let's go back. Let's keep going back a little bit more. All right. This was just weird. Okay. This right here, I don't know if it was a prank or a skit or something they did for to promote Stephen King, but she's playing um she's playing the character from Misery who locks up Paul Sheldon. So that's that's not even a feminist thing. That's just funny. Um uh, Okay, this bitch, she is harassing a federal employee. If he really wanted to, he could do something about it. He could sue her for slander. That could possibly get your job. That could have possibly cost him his job, and he wasn't doing anything. Uh, you're complaining about a TV show. Okay, they're, they're going to make anybody in a TV show look good. Uh, as far as shaving pits and everything in a post-apocalyptic world, once again, it's a TV show. Get over it. Let's see. I had no idea. I have no idea what's going on in this scene. At all. I, I don't understand what's happening. She's just cussing a lot of people out. Um, let's go back. And there's this bitch again. <laughs> Oh, God. This goes back to my rant about, like, safe places. And I did a post about the Chicago University, like, basically telling all their incoming students, hey, there's no safe spaces here. Grow the fuck up. And this is this is part of it. It's like, your bubble? You're on a public train. Are you kidding me? Like, what are you like on a subway? What are you like in a taxi? Can you handle being in a restaurant? That's a pretty big bubble, too. Like, he's a decent... He's a decent four feet away from her, and, like, he's invading her bubble? Okay. <laughs> I feel for this woman in some ways. Because there's a side of her that's, like... There's a side of her that's saying, I'm doing the right thing for all women out there, but then there's another side saying, like, I could really go... For some chocolate mousse cake. Right about now. It's horrible. Because like my mom. Like my mom passed away. When I was 13 years old. And uh, it was one parts. Uh, a disease. And one parts her weight just got the best of her. And I always. And I always think to myself. Like she could still be here today. If she had just taken care of herself better. If she had just. Done things differently. And this goes back to it, man. Uh, oh. What else is there? I, I believe in equality for everyone. There are some women out there who demand equal pay, but they don't want to do the same amount of work. And that's where you fall into the category of a feminazi. You know... They want to be able to beat up on a guy and then call the cops as soon as, like, the guy turns on him. Like, there's a video. There's a video of this girl in a school, in a, in a classroom, and she's, like, smacking the shit out of this guy. And he's telling her, like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. I don't want to do something about it. I don't want to do something about it. And she finally smacks, like, the ever-living crap out of his face. He grabs her, and he fucking whips her around after warning her, like, several, eight times to stop it and nobody's doing anything about her smacking it. but as soon as he grabs her to whip her around to get her to stop everyone jumps in what kind of bullshit is that where were you guys when she was beating up on him huh that's what pisses me off you want to talk e equal opportunity pay equal opportunity you know jobs and workplace and uh, employments i don't believe on beating up on people it's not just women. I don't believe I'm beating up on people, but I do believe in an opportunity in an equal opportunity ass kicking when you ask for it. Anyway, I'm going to try and keep this under 20 minutes, but thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Later.